Hi, I'm Callie from CRK Training. I'm here with Bandit and we're out in the fields today to make a video for you on steering with your body. So the reason I wanted to make this video and make it out here in the fields is because I feel that learning to steer using your body is very important for several reasons. Number one, when we can steer better with our body, so when we can keep ourselves in a better position and a better alignment, and we know how to influence the horse using our body, not just the reins, we can maintain much better control. So in a situation like this, where I'm out here in the open and I need to sometimes just maintain control of him very simply if he gets excited or he starts to go too fast or he's trying to go back to the barn when I'm trying to go somewhere else. Knowing how to use your body correctly is going to make a big difference in the control that you have. Also, if I am, say, in the arena and I'm trying to make a circle or do another figure where I want the horse to be balanced and steady through his turns, using your body correctly is going to make a big difference between having a circle that actually looks like a nice clean circle or riding something that looks more like a hexagon. So it's very important to learn to steer using your whole body, not just the reins. There's three things that I'm gonna give you to kind of focus on as you're thinking about using your body a little bit more steering. The first one is to keep your shoulders stacked over your hips. So if I have Bandit walk here, one of the mistakes that I see, or one of the positions that I see people go into sometimes that isn't as effective is that they will come forward in order to bring their hands back to steer, whether it's bringing the hand straight back here or coming forward and bringing the elbow and the hand out in this kind of a manner to steer. When you're forward like this and your hands are back, it puts you in a pretty vulnerable position. So you're not balanced and you're not strong and stable through your back. So if something were to happen or if your horse was not, didn't respond to your steering aid, it's going to be really hard to stay balanced enough to actually get that correct response. And also when we bring ourselves this far forward, when we bring our shoulders really far forward of our hips, this puts more weight on the horse's front end, which makes it harder for them to actually steer, especially if we're working on tight turns or figures such as circles and that sort of thing. So shoulders over hips is the first piece. The second piece is to look where you want to go and be aware of your head. So think chin up and just gazing softly in the direction that you want to go in. So our skull is a large bone, has a lot of weight to it. And the more that we gaze, say down at the ground, so if I'm making a circle, but I'm looking kind of at the center of the circle this way, you can see my weight actually starts to go there. And again, it's gonna be really hard to make that circle happen um, or to make it nice and steady. So that's the second piece. Look where you wanna go. The third piece is to be aware of your hips. So as I'm steering him here, and I keep those first things in mind, so I've got my shoulders stacked over my hips, I'm looking where I wanna go, and then I'm allowing my shoulders to follow my torso and then my hip. And when you can start to feel your hips as you turn, that's where you're gonna to start to feel like you can really influence the horse with your body. So like right here, I'm actually kind of pushing him over with my left hip. And there my left leg was on him softly, but it was more my hip. So I'm gonna do this again. Shoulders stacked over hips, looking off to the left. I'm gonna move my shoulders a little bit to follow my gaze, my torso, and then my hip. So I'm gonna take it up to a trot for just a few turns here so you can kind of see how these same things are applicable at a more forward gait. And now out here today, there's a few times that Bandit's been pulling down and rooting a little bit. So it's even more important for me to think about keeping my shoulders balanced over my hips so that he doesn't pull me out of my balance point. Now, if I want to turn here to the right, I'm gonna look, turn my shoulders, and then allow my hips to turn. Same thing here, turning to the left, I'm gonna look, turn my shoulders, and then turn my hips. So the same time, as I'm doing this, I'm staying strong in my back, I'm staying stable in my body, 
and I'm able to feel very balanced and very in control and able to influence his movements and where he's putting his body. And you'll also notice that as you steer more with your body, you do less with your hands. Anytime we can be less in the horse's mouth, that's gonna make our horses a little bit happier as well. So I hope you enjoyed this short video, just a few tips for thinking a little bit more about steering with your body. If you have anything to add to this, please put it in the comments. And as always, if you're watching this anywhere besides crktrainingblog.com, go there now. It's where the best conversation happens. And I look forward to seeing you in the comments. Thank you.